Until recently, only the hedge funds were the primary users of AI and machine learning in finance. But in the last few years, have seen the application of machine learning spreading into various other areas of finance, including retail banks, investment banks, fintech regulators, uh, mutual funds, insurance firms, just to name a few. So in this video, I will discuss some of the uh, key areas in finance domain where machine learning is being used intensively. So the first one is a high frequency, uh, high frequency trading with machine learning. So uh, a high frequency trading machine runs on artificial intelligence. It performs thousands of transactions per day by taking advantage of the subtle changes in stock market. These changes are almost impossible for human to track as they happen in few seconds or minutes at the most. However, a properly trained machine will be fast enough to see the changes and use it. Second is uh, chatbot in trading. So another way machine learning is deployed in trading and in many other industries in fact is by developing chatbots for communication. Here chatbot uh, communicates with traders and provide the information they ask for example uh, past deals, uh, uh, then financial statement, investment records etc. The chatbots can also compile a list of uh, trading offers, potential uh, shares to buy, the latest prices and much more. And uh, uh, AI powered chatbots are faster and more effective than human support teams. A single chatbot can handle multiple conversation at the same time, provide each trader with the required data without feeling tired, getting confused or making mistakes. So the algorithms are designed to take feedback and learn from the previous mistakes to provide better support to the traders. And then comes uh, the one of the most important area which is successful application of ML or machine learning in uh, in credit fraud detection. Uh, machine learning algorithms are excellent for detecting transactional frauds by analyzing millions of data points that tend to go unnoticed by humans. Further, machine learning also also reduces the number of false rejections by uh, and helps improve the precision of real-time approvals. These models are generally built uh, on clients behavior on the internet and uh, after analyzing millions of transactions done by the client. And apart from spotting fraudulent behavior with high accuracy, machine learning powered technology also uh, equipped to ideally to identify suspicious activities by the client and also detecting them before the crime actually happened. And next comes um, uh, the machine learning in risk management in banking or any financial institution. So using machine learning financial institution can significantly lower the risk levels by analyzing a massive volume of data sources. Unlike the traditional methods which are usually limited to essential information such as credit score etc. Machine learning can analyze significant volumes of personal information to reduce their risk. Various insights gathered by machine learning technology also provide bank banking and financial services, service organization with actionable intelligence to help them make subsequent decision. An example of this could be machine learning programs tapping into, into different data sources uh, for customers applying for loans and assigning risk scores to them. So ML algorithm could then easily predict uh, the customers who are at risk of defaulting on their loans to help companies rethink or adjust terms for each customer. And uh, then the next application of um, uh, machine learning comes the application of natural language processing in investment decision making, a very active area in, in investment banking nowadays. So uh, different sources of text data have been reported as important indicators of stock return volatility. These sources include internet messages, internet message postings, uh, financial news, analyst reports, corporate annual reports, uh, management decision given in the 10k reporting. So in other words, information extracted from both outsiders, that is uh, investors posting news and analyst reports, and also insiders, that is managerial comments in annual reports, have shown to be effective in predicting future stock return volatility. And here comes NLP or natural language processing or deep learning to extract this intelligence from huge amount of textual data on a company. 
and uh, next is financial advisory in the space of personal finance so there are various budget management apps powered by machine learning which can offer customers the benefit of highly specialized and targeted financial advice and guidance machine learning algorithms not only allow customers to track their spending on a daily basis using these apps but also help them analyze the data to identify their spending patterns followed by identifying the areas where they can save and one of the rapidly emerging trends in this context is um, uh, robo uh, robo advisor uh, working like regular advisors they specially target investors with limited resources individuals and small scale uh, or small to medium sized businesses who wish to manage their funds these ml based robo advisors can apply a traditional data processing technique to create financial portfolios and solutions such as trading investment uh, retirement plans etc for their users for example a customer looking to invest uh, a financial plan can be benefited from personalized investment offer the ml algorithm analyzes after the ml algorithm analyzes his or her existing financial situation their expense uh, spending pattern etc another example is clustering algorithm it uses to uh, it is used to examine the characteristics such as volume profile volatility profile or liquidity profile to categorize cluster of stocks into similar groups and the algorithm analyzes historical data to find most effective way to trade those stocks based on the cluster uh, and also taking into account the client's benchmark so coming back to trading uh, a nice example of machine learning uh, is uh, that a traditional algorithm might suggest trades based on historic volume profiles which will not be ideal on an index event day for example when indexes are reconstituted but an algorithm with machine learning enabled volume prediction could study trading volumes on all past index event days detect the patterns and predict the volume on the next index event day and recommend trades accordingly this just this is this is just when you think about it is just awesome and another example was um, that was implemented by nasdaq of using machine learning in their day to day business which is uh, <clears throat> predicting the fraud so so many forms of market abuses happen in uh, stock exchanges so one example was spoofing where orders are sent to an exchange and quickly cancelled or uh, to trick to trick investors into thinking there is a change in the supply or demand of a stock or asset however it has been difficult for exchanges to spot these kind of innovative forms of deception hence nasdaq implemented a system using machine learning and deep learning that was trained on huge set of previous uh, trading data historical trading data to pick up these irregular trading activities thereby uh, prevented the spoofing mechanism quite a bit these algorithms tend to see the market from a machine's point of view which can be very different from a human uh, rather than focusing uh, on the behavior of individual stock for instance many prop trading algorithms look at the market as a vast weather system with trends and movements that can be predicted and capitalized upon so these patterns may not be uh, visible to human but only computers with their ability to analyze massive amounts of data at lightning speed so to sum up uh, today's uh, today's a single stock a single stock in a st um, in an exchange can receive 10000 bits per second that deluge of data overwhelms any attempt to create a simple human decision based cause and effect trading strategy so our financial markets have become a largely automated adaptive dynamical system with feedback and all these are being consumed by huge machine learning and deep learning models uh, for example traditional hedge fund managers managers now uh, analyze all sorts of data to inform their stock picking decisions from credit card records to satellite images of in of inventories uh, to uh, to flight charters for private jets but this proliferation proliferation of data uh, does mean that machine learning algorithms are at a central position to take over the job of discovering new investment factors in the world of finance and this trend is only going to grow as more and more sophisticated algorithms are developed with each passing month all right that pretty much wraps about this video if you liked it 
do smash the like button and also don't forget to subscribe see you in the next one and thank you very much for watching